Hello everybody, uh, this is a video on my Rick Grimes belt collection. Uh, the majority of this is 100% accurate, although some of it is, uh, well, not. But uh, let's get started. So, this whole belt here is 100% accurate. This is uh, my season one belt. Uh... I'll run you through it. Yeah, these are my girlfriend's socks. But I'll run you through it. Um, so this is a... Actual safety speed belt. I have a 34. Uh, it's just a little big on me. I'm a 28 waist. <clears throat> but it's about to that notch. Uh, fits well with the underbelt, in which this is an accurate underbelt. Uh, this regular belt you can just get on eBay, actually. It's just a regular underbelt. Uh, that is 100% accurate. I don't know if I said that already. Um, belt buckle. In season one, he's only got two, uh, belt keepers. These are screen accurate as well. Uh... Tech Shoemaker 42A holster. And you can see it's right there. Uh, some of them do say Colt 4 inch on the back. Those were made later on after the show's first airing. These were made before the show's first airing. So this was made before season one and during season one. If it says Colt 4-inch on it, 42A, it was made after the show aired. Um, screen accurate walkie-talkie here. I did peel the sticker off because it wasn't the correct sticker on it. Someone, whoever I bought it off of, put a custom sticker saying Walking Dead on it. Uh, I peeled it off, hopefully, hoping it would be the original sticker underneath. Uh... Well, I was sadly mistaken. I probably should have just kept the walking dead on there. But it is a accurate walkie-talkie here. Season 1. Actually, I think they use this in multiple seasons. Up to like season 9 or 10. I think they still use it. Uh, Banshee 35. Handcuff case. Right there. Banshee 35. <clears throat> safety speed loaders 100% accurate <clears throat> I got something on the bottom of them oh I think it's just like old tape from where it was packaged through the mail <clears throat> my belt uh, my Colt Python obviously this is not a real Colt Python this is just uh, an Airsoft Colt Python, in which I think you can get off Amazon. It might be on eBay, but it's like 30 bucks. It's an actual size of one. It is the real size of a Colt Python. Fits in this holster well. Well, if I can't do really with one hand. Oops, that's in the way. Oh, duh. Here we go. You know, I mean, it fits in it well. So. Um... Obviously, not a real Colt Python. Not a screen accurate watch either. It looks like it from a distance. Uh, it is not a real Kenneth Cole. This is just one I picked up at Walmart. Uh, 12 bucks. Looked a lot like it. I will probably be picking up a Kenneth Cole watch next. Now, this is an accurate. Uh, this is real. And this is a screen accurate axe i can't remember the actual name of it uh i chopped mine off right where the lettering was i tried to sand it down as best i could i got a little chip off there kind of sucked but uh and there was uh a price tag on it here i had to peel it off and uh, it's stained in the wood but accurate you can get this from walmart.com actually 30 bucks i see a lot of fakes online Selling for like 80 to 100 just replicas. Why not just get the real deal for 30 from Walmart.com? Uh, they come pretty dull. So, I mean, if you want to keep it dull, you can sh or you can sharpen it up. 
on to my next belt. Now, this is like a season four and up belt. Uh, so we'll start from the right here. This is not an accurate belt. It's the same belt as this belt, but there is a difference in these belts. One is black, fully black on the inside of the belt, as you can see. The whole inside of the belt is black. But this belt has some brown in it. But on the outside of it, it is 100% the same. This one's a 32 inch waist. Uh, all the belt keepers are screen accurate besides this one. I've got the two button, a one button that is screen accurate, and another two button. Now this one is not screen accurate, but it is pretty close, so. Uh, also, this is not screen accurate. It looks just like the real deal. I mean, it looks like bread and butter with this one. Like peas and carrots, as Forrest Gump would say. Uh, this is not a real Tech Shoemaker 42. A. Uh, this is a homemade one. Very, very well done. You cannot tell from the outside at all. Uh, the only way I'd say you could tell is because this part right here is just a little thinner than this one is. See how that's a little thicker right here from here to here? This one is just a hair thinner. Um, but, I mean, they look identical. Um, this one's a bit tougher, but this one is less used. I've tried to wear this one down just a little bit here. Uh, I mean, same material, same everything. This is just not screen accurate. I got this from a guy off eBay who makes homemade ones. He has a real one, and he molded it off of his real one to make his own, and he sold them on eBay for a reasonable price. At least I consider it to be a reasonable price. Um, moving on, we have a screen accurate mag holder here. I can't remember the exact name of it. Right there. So, fuck, there we go. So, that is screen accurate. Recently got that. Uh, Banshee 35, but this is a real Banshee 35. This is a real Banshee 35. The difference in between these two is almost no difference at all. This one says Banshee 35 on it, but it does not have the star like this one does. I'll show you again. This one has a, get the light. This one has a star on it. Other than that, there is an absolutely no difference in it. So, I mean, this is screen accurate. It's just no star. Uh, it's the same, it's the same thing. Uh, not a screen accurate speed loader case. I got a little BBs in here for my airsoft gun. Uh, not screen accurate. This one is like 20 bucks on eBay or something like that. Like a second hand seller. It is not a screen accurate one. But I mean, it, it made a good prop for one though. Uh, this one has, oh, it's not too dark. This one has like the sides higher on it. Well, this one is like real flat, the screen accurate one, the real one. And Husky Holds All cell phone case. This was a black one. I painted it blue. Uh, you can definitely tell if you get a little closer. Um, I painted it blue. This is to hold the accent, just like the show. Uh, I did cut it right there and cut a hole in the bottom of it right there so it could fit my axe if I can do this one handed oh boy there we go okay so it'll hold my axe there we go just like the show kinda yep that's how I think he started doing that in season 6 and up um Moving on to my boots. 100% screen accurate. Justin Boots. 2222. 2222. Um, maybe the rarest thing here, besides my 
Texture Maker 42A. Um, I'll take the boot here. You can see. Just the boots. Two, 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 two. Um, nine and a half. Fits me very well. I got them uh, off eBay for 80 some bucks. It was an absolute steal. Uh, they're in great condition. They look almost brand spanking new. You know, barely used. I th I'm pretty sure the guy I bought them off of wore them maybe a handful of times. And I've been the main um, wearer of these boots. And they're in super, super great condition. Uh, there is a boot just like it by Justin Boots. It is like 2223. And I think the only difference is that see that little bit of like reddish orange there and it doesn't have that it's just all tan it's like so you see how that outer line right there is tan well this is tan as well not like an orange reddish color um and there, so all the lines are tan on that boot uh nearly identical i've seen one going on ebay like that for like a thousand dollars don't waste your money on something like that it is not screen accurate uh they could have possibly used like prop ones of those on the show just like as a side boot but it is not the official rick rhymes boot and that just about does it for my belt collection let me know what you guys think